This morning in the Roadshow, Kitchen Chef Jennifer Chapman from DeWolf Tavern is here to make a great dish. We're talking about petite lamb and a strawberry salad. It seems great for this nice spring weather. Yeah, great for spring. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Easter just passed and lamb's a big thing for that. Um, Definitely. So take us through some of the ingredients that we'll need today. Um, we have cumin, coriander, some uh, cardamom pods, cinnamon, um, fresh ginger, clove, mace, um, and chili flakes, okay. and some mango powder, garlic, a um, little bit of white truffle oil. Mango powder? Yes. I don't think powder. I've ever seen that or heard of it before. Can you yeah. find that at the grocery store? I mean, um, I'm not sure. You might have to go on a little, little bit of a hunt for that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then some stra what? Strawberries, lemon? Strawberries, lemon, um, some fennel, mint, cilantro. And our petite lamb. So what, I mean, why are we using petite lamb? Where, where can we find this as opposed to a regular um, lamb chop? You can find this in the grocery store. Okay. Um, they have it a lot. It's already um, Frenched for you and everything mm -hmm. and then you just slice it. It's really easy. Okay, so you're making this simple to do. No extra work for those at home who are uh, trying to make this tonight. Yeah, you could probably make this dish in a half an hour, not even. So. Oh, perfect. Even yeah. better. All right, great. Well, we're going to get things cooked up in just a little bit. For now, back to you. Back into the kitchen. What's going on now, Will? We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. We're here with Chef Jennifer Chapman from Dwarf Tavern, and we are making petite lamb chops with strawberry salad. Yep. All right. What, what are we? Uh, what are we doing now? What's our next? Uh, what's our steps? Um. Well, I have some spices here that we talked about earlier. Okay. Um. You just grind them and mix them with yogurt and a little bit of white truffle oil, and you get this paste. Okay. And that's the paste that we're going to be putting. That we're going to be placing on the lamb chops. Yep. Okay. Right. Um. You can also just buy the spices ground. If so that it makes it easier so you don't have yes. to do it yourself, right? Okay. All right, so we're just going to chop these lamb chops up. Mm -hmm. And how many we went about one and then we're going to rub this paste on it. Yep, and you just uh, you can marinate it for probably about 2 hours or so. Okay. I have some already marinated. This paste, I mean for for everybody at home this paste, I mean so you know what the consistency is. It's almost like a like a mustard or something like that. Yeah, right? it's pretty thick. Okay. Um, so we're going to put some uh, Extra virgin olive extra oil. Extra virgin olive oil on. We've got our pan all uh, heated and ready to go. And we're going to take these lamb chops and toss them in. Now, where are we going to get the, these petite uh, lamb chops? Any butcher shop should have these? Uh, yeah. Because, I mean, you know, I've even never seen them even, even these small, this small. I mean, I've seen the larger, you know, larger lamb chops that we've had. Yeah. You know, they look like this where you can see the bone, but never this, this tiny. Yeah. Um, even the bigger ones at the grocery store, you can find um, lamb chops. Already frenched for you okay. and prepared. You so you don't have to worry about yeah, getting fancy on us. Yeah. Okay. And how long? I mean, because they are so tiny. I know lamb is you know somewhat uh, you know tough to, to cook to get it just right. How long are we going to let these these simmer for? Uh, not too long. You want a nice sear on each side. Um, I like my lamb medium rare. Um, I think that's medium rare to medium is probably the best for a lamb. Okay. And and on both, we'll flip them both sides. Let it go for a little while to get, keep it keep an eye on it, right? Yep. Just okay. want to let it hang out. Okay. We got this probably on like a uh, almost medium heat, yes. and letting it uh, sizzle away. And this, uh, whoa, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's okay. Um, so we'll let this sizzle away for just a few minutes. Keep an eye on the on the lamb. We'll be ready to go, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, busy moms, listen up. Top mom bloggers are sharing their tips to doing it all. And can be a little sharper. All right, back in the road show kitchen. We're talking about the sharpness of the knife, obviously, because mm -hmm. Will is doing. More chopping! More chopping! Yet again! Yeah, that's Chef Jennifer, Jennifer has. Chapman from DeWolf Tavern joins us to uh, finish up this lamb dish that we're making. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just going to chop some of this fennel. We're going to chop the fennel? Slice it. All right. And you said chop this thin, right? Yes. Okay. Excellent. You know what? i got to switch this around because I'm, I'm, I'm a lefty. You're a le I was going to say. And I can tell you, it's not really going to help me any. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. <laughs> And this is for our, our strawberry salad? Yes. Okay, excellent. And what else is going into this? That's pretty good. Um, we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> that pretty is good. a vote of confidence. <laughs> um, we're going to put some yogurt. I have some chopped um, cilantro and mint. Okay, and what I've kind of chopped. yogurt are you using? Plain? Um, plain. I actually have Narragansett Creamer yogurt right here. Okay. Um, mm. Just plain yogurt, Greek yogurt, anything will do. A little bit of salt. Excellent. So should just this should be chopped up anymore? Or is that that's uh, we're good? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Unless you feel like chopping some more. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I think we'll leave it at that. I think we'll leave it at that. I'm gonna take pretty good as a compliment. Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, we're gonna add some lemon juice, about half a lemon. Okay. Nice, good citrus. Does citrus work work well with lamb? 
With lamb dishes? Yes. Okay. Citrus, um, yogurt's big. This is our um, mint raita sauce. Okay. Okay. And of course you have this at the restaurant? Yes. Oh. We serve it with our um, petite lamb chops as well. Yum. So. So it smells good. We can smell the smell everything in there. Yeah, exactly. And this is a perfect time of year because a lot of people grow the mint and everything else in their backyard. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, some people don't know what to do with it. This is perfect. You know, right. perfect to chop it's it up and, and put it's it in, in this. your garden. Okay. So we got some arugula here, yep. baby okay. arugula. Toss in my <laughs> decently sliced fennel. <laughs> yes, it's very Excellent. good. Excellent. Put um, that in. Add some strawberries. Okay. Strawberries, which you've just thinly sliced yeah. again. I love strawberries in a salad. Oh yeah. I don't know it's what it is. Great. Reminds me reminds me of the summertime. Yeah. Just get some Better gloves. Weather. Gonna get some. All right, and that is going to excellent. She's got the gloves, keeping it safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're gonna add that to the salad and, and kind of uh, mix it up there. And while you're doing that, tell us about some of the things um, going on at the restaurant. Sure. Um, we have Mother's Day coming up. Uh, we're gonna be doing some complimentary petty fours for okay. each mom. Um, mm -hmm. This Sunday we have a cake class that I'm teaching. Really? Yep. Oh, that's, that's great. Fun. Maybe you can It'll even do that as an early Mother's Day uh, exactly. gift and outing. Yeah. What are they going to learn in your? Uh, in um, your they're going to learn how to there. make our chocolate chili cake. Um, oh. There will be a complimentary glass of wine, some little appetizers. So now anybody who wants to get in that, we got to call ahead. Yep, call ahead. Ask about it. I think. Um, we're already booked, but we're going to do it again next month. And okay, so maybe you can get in it. on it next Perfect. month to do it next yeah. month. Yeah, there you go. And as far All as right. Mother's Day on the way, are you booked up for Mother's Day as well, too? Uh, we are not fully booked up for Mother's Day. Um, good. You still get your reservations. Still have reservations. In. Okay, that yeah. looks good. Perfect. That smells great. And then great. just plate it up. It does. It does. All those it really flavors does. coming together. Let's put that in. Let me move this out of your way. Excellent. Sure. And we're going to plate up with our lamb. Remind everyone quickly um, how did we cook this again? About how long and, and the temperature? <laughs> Um, probably, I think I only did it for like about six minutes. Oh, um, yeah, because they're so tiny. Yeah. Because they're tiny. Very tiny. And you can use the big ones as well, just... Wow, and look good. at that presentation. Looks it looks delicious. It's very good. All right, I know someone else is having a uh, delicious morning. That is Mary. She is live again.